How's it going folks? Uh, this is uh, Analog Sound System here. I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to replace the belt in a Tascam TSR8 reel-to-reel -reel unit. Um, it's not uh, as easy as people think it is, but um, I saw some other videos on other Tascam reel-to-reels, uh, the belts being changed, and I figured, hey, might as well show you guys how to do this one. So um, I'll just show you really quickly what you need. First of all, you'll need a, a, a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, that's to undo the screws here and then to take off there's two top screws up here when I take this plate off and you'll also need an Allen key which is right here and that's to take care of these screws on the sides here so the objective here is we're taking off the plate and we're gonna have to take apart all these they just unwind and screw off so we'll just do all of that really quickly and uh, we'll show you this step by step all right so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to get rid of uh, all of the uh, rollers here so let's just unscrew all these out let's put that there for now. be very careful with this by the way okay so there's that there's little rings as well too so you just have to make sure you don't lose the rings okay so now that we've got the rollers off Okay, we'll go ahead and start taking off the plate here. So, we'll start with... One. You gotta be really careful too, because you don't want the, uh, the screwdriver to, uh, you know, make contact with the heads down below here. I know the lighting is horrible, but you don't want that to happen. So. That should just slide right off like that. There are the heads, all bare. There's a little good thing there. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to take off these, uh, the screw over here and the screw over here. That's hold. That's actually attached to the plate. So let's do that. Once again, be very careful. Magnet screwdrivers, what can I say? One hand on the phone, one hand on the screwdriver. Okay. So, now we've got all that off. Up next, we're going to take off the Allen screws that are along the sides. There's three on this side, and then there's three along here. Alright. So remember, you've got six Allen screws. Do not lose them. Okay, so up next, uh, it's the removal of the plate. As you can see, I can pretty much lift it up now. It's, it's pretty much loose. But I'm going to need two hands for this, so uh, I'm going to have to just uh, put this phone down. But I'm just going to lift it off really quickly. All right, so I've taken off the plate. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the screws uh, on this plate, on this sub plate that holds the head assembly and uh, some of the rollers and whatnot. Uh, the capstan uh, uh, piece here. So you've got one screw here, one screw here, one screw down here, and one screw up here. So these are the four we're gonna have to remove in order to take off this whole apparatus and get to the back to fit the, the belt on. So I'm gonna just go ahead and unscrew those. Once again, be very careful. You don't wanna be knocking over or hitting any of these uh, these uh, pegs because believe me there is not an available anymore and you got to go to a metalworks place like I did and I have to get a guy to retool it so learn my for my mistake that's for sure
four screws are out, but one thing we have to do before we uh, take this plate off, it's gonna, you won't be able to lift it up because you have to take these pegs off. One here and one here. And I have to stress that you have to be very careful when you take these things off. With a lot of these machines, if, they, if um, they've been sitting in that position over time, they get seized. And that's actually where the problem is. And when they're seized, getting it off is a problem. Um, I had damaged this one in the past, not the actual uh, peg itself, but the the um, tapered uh, uh, part that this peg screws onto had broken off, and I had to get it retooled because that part number doesn't exist anymore through TAC or Tascam. So be very, very careful when you take this off. My advice to you guys, first of all, if you find these are seized, use something like liquid wrench and uh or or even wd-40 but i would probably prefer liquid wrench and let it soak uh at the base here overnight and hopefully that should do it and uh, you should be able to free them up the next morning um and another thing is when you want to if you're trying to open this with a wrench grab it from the base here and i would probably wrap around maybe a fabric or a, or a piece of rubber to clamp on here and to turn the peg Okay, you do not want to be clamping the pliers or wrench anywhere around here because then you'll have problems with the rollers. So be very careful when you're taking these pegs off. All right, so let's just take these off one time. I've loosened these up already. That's why there's such a breeze to come out. I've taken them out before, um, especially this one. Okay, so you can see now I can lift it up you know what I mean and it's 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 hooked up to the there's a part here where it's hooked up to a solenoid and another part here where it's hooked up to another solenoid um, as you lift it they'll actually come off it's actually pretty pretty easy that way but what you should be concerned about are your your controls or your VU meters here you don't want those to get damaged so I'm just gonna put a piece of foam there and I'm gonna lift this up okay so here is the old belt that I just pulled up from the bottom there and as you can see, this is the base of the cap stand. I pulled it up. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in the new belt, fitting it under there, getting it under there, and make sure I'm not going around uh, that uh, that one screw there. You want to go like right in, inside there and back up onto the uh, motor, onto the motor drive there. So motor pulley. Okay, so that's our next task. Let's go for it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to start from uh, bringing the belt from the top where the motor pulley is and back this way, downwards, so you can get around the cap stand. It just makes life much more easier than trying to start from the bottom, going up, and all you got to do is just wrap it around, wrap it around there, and then we just easily fit back the plate, remove the foam, sometimes you might have a, sometimes a problem getting it back on, but uh, there we go, there you go, on the pegs, totally flush, motors, uh, the belt is, is, is on the pulley, spin it around perfectly. There you have it. All right, now the assembly. So remember, we got to put the pegs back on. Like that. Okay. And I do recommend that anybody could spray that with some sort of lubricant around the, uh, the threading because these do get seized. So I do recommend people to do that. Um, so once you've got those on, then you can just go ahead and put the, put the uh, four screws back on on the full plate. Okay, now that we've put that back on, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the strobe counter that is, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and put on the four screws to secure the plate.
Make sure everything's all tightened up. Now we gotta just easily put the plate on. Make sure you don't scrape the capstan roller or the strobe counter. Don't want that getting damaged. Good stuff. So that's all in the clear. Okay. Now we could fit on the, uh, the head stack screws. Okay, so we start with the top ones. Make sure that the plate is secured because these these two top screws are the ones that's going to be hidden. So we start at the two top screws first, and then we work our way down. Okay, and then you're going to get the head plate, the head stack plate or the head stack cover. And this just gets held on by two screws in the bottom. Right there, there you go. That's better. There's two little latches, you got to make sure the latches up, up here are hooked on to the plate before you put these two screws on, so just make sure you get the latches on. Now, I'm not going to tighten that fully, because I want to get this one in there first. Alright, going to evenly drive them, don't go too hard on it, just enough to keep it nice and snug. Alright, and last but not least, we're just going to put in the Allen screws. So we'll do that really quickly. Got those three in. And last but not least. A lot of the smaller fine tuning things are really are really just meant to be hand tightened. And that's usually just the plate. Um, everything here is good. And the head stack cover, you know, and even these uh, pegs are just hand tightened. Going on. There you have it, folks. All right, everything's put together. Now, the moment of truth. I'm just going to thread it, uh, thread some tape on, and see how it plays. Okay, and here's the moment of truth, fellas, ladies, anybody in the building. There you go. The belt is working. Spot's working. 